What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, college football playoff rankings video here for you. I am that dude and I have a lot to get into in this video, so make sure to stick around, stay tuned. I'm gonna go over you know, the rankings, give you my thoughts, my predictions for the future, and it's gonna be a good one, so make sure to stick around. If you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. That way you don't miss out on anything going forward throughout the season and throughout the year. Appreciate it, let's get into the video. So to start off the video, I'm just gonna go over the top 10, um, top 12 of the college football playoff rankings that came out tonight, just watched them, just released. I know it's a big hype type thing for the rankings. They do it multiple times each week now leading up to the end of football season. And, um, you know, I get it. I don't really understand why they have so many different rankings here and there. These are the rankings that count. These are the rankings that matter. So that's why I'm going to be doing a video on these rankings. Um, so first off, let's go ahead and go through them. The top four teams, the big deal, Ohio State, LSU, Bama, and Penn State. All 8-0. Um, all undefeated, and then rounding that out, which would be the first team out of the college football playoff, Clemson, your champion from last year, Georgia is sitting at six, Oregon, Utah, Oklahoma, Florida, and then Auburn and Baylor. I went down to number 12 because I wanted to talk a little bit about Baylor. Baylor is a team that is undefeated now. They play TCU, Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas. That's the rest of their schedule. I would really love to see them go undefeated and see what the playoff committee does with Camp, uh, with Baylor. Um, I don't know if they could leave an undefeated team out in the Big 12, uh, especially when you're going to have most of these other conferences with a loss. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Do I think the Baylor is that good? Not really. Do I think that they're going to go undefeated? I don't see that happening either. But you really never know, and it's going to be something fun to watch. I want to see the committee kind of be in a bind and see what they do. But with that being said, let's talk and dig in to these top six teams a little bit more. So Ohio State has looked phenomenal this year. No real shocker there. They're, they look the best. Their offense has you know, had no blemishes. I said last year that I would rather have Justin Fields over Jake Fromm. Um, you get Justin Fields for multiple years. You Jake Fromm, you have one more year, he's gone. He hasn't won the big games. He has never won um, you know, a championship for Georgia. I told all my Georgia friend fans that uh, you know that would be my decision. They kind of looked at me like I was crazy. I knew Justin Fields was a beast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and toot my own horn for that one. So Penn State is coming up for Ohio State. That's going to be a huge game with a lot of ramifications in that. And they also play at Michigan. Uh, so they have two big games to end out the year uh, to see if they're going to stay, stick in this top four um, rankings. And with that being said, I don't think Michigan is that good. They have been playing a lot better here lately down the stretch. The past two games, they've looked really good, uh, you know, to Michigan standards. But we will see. And then you have LSU. LSU and Alabama sit at two and three. This weekend's game is absolutely huge. LSU will be traveling to Tuscaloosa, playing the game of the century. You know how they always say that. Um, so, huge game for LSU. This is really their last big game of the regular season. If they win, they'll play in the SEC Championship. Alabama, they have LSU and the rival Auburn going to Auburn. That's going to be a tough game. That's going to be a game that you can never really sleep easy on. Rivalry games are something else. Um, and then if, you know, if they win both of those, they still have to go play in the SEC Championship. Going to be playing Georgia, probably. I think that Georgia's already clinched. So, that would be who they would be playing. Still some tough games on Alabama's schedule. Uh, so their strength of schedule will get stronger, in my opinion. As of right now, yes, I understand. Alabama hasn't played many people. Oh, well. Penn State. 
Penn State sitting at eight and zero. They play Minnesota, which has been one of the hotter teams in the um, in the nation so far in college football, and then Ohio State at Ohio State. Um, again, that game is going to be huge. It's going to be a game of the week when they play. So something to keep your eyes out for. A lot of people are probably shocked, and you know some people may not be shocked at all that Clemson is sitting at number five. Personally, I think that. Playoff committee did the right thing by putting them at five. And also, they have nothing to worry about. Clemson is going to be in the top five or the top four. They're going to win out. They're going to win the ACC championship. They don't play anyone else the rest of the year. Um, With that being said, the playoff committee knew doing this would keep people from, you know, kind of ragging them. Just look at this. Ohio State and Penn State are going to play each other. That's going to kick one of them out. Penn, or Alabama and LSU, they're going to play each other. One of them is going to have a loss. Those two teams, this is where it gets tricky. If And I'll, I'll, I'll say that, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But Clemson, they don't play anybody else. They're going to be in the Final Four, in my opinion. And then you have Georgia playing in the SEC Championship against Alabama or LSU. That's really their only hope of getting into that Final Four. And really... For the, mo- for the most part, all of these other teams, I don't see them having a true shot unless unless the top just crumbles. And I, it's just, in my opinion, that's not going to happen. I would love to know your thoughts below. Let me know who is your biggest shock in these rankings, if, if any. Who do you think is going to come out and make a run? Who do you think is a sleeper to get in? I would love to know some of your thoughts down below. So make sure to drop, drop a comment. Um, also, leave a like on this video. College football is amazing. If you like college football, drop a like. Uh, so, looking at uh, after Georgia, you have Oregon and Utah. Oregon and Utah are going to be playing in the Pac-12 against each other. That's going to be a great game to watch. That's going to have a lot of um, you know meaning in that game. Do I think that they get in the Final Four from that? I don't know. A lot of stuff has to happen. I still see them in the outside of that Final Four. Okay, so after that, the biggest loser of the season so far is Oklahoma. Losing that game at Kansas State this year uh, on the road was absolutely brutal. Um, I don't see how they lost that game first and foremost. They were a lot to get in. Um, They would have had to beat Baylor, essentially, to get into the Final Four. Poor Jalen. I think his dreams and hopes of winning a championship with Oklahoma is gone from that loss. Florida, Auburn, Baylor, that wraps out 10, 11, and 12. I don't – Florida and Auburn are both really good teams, have had really tough schedules. I'll give them that, and have lost to good teams. So that they are well well deserving of this spot in the top 10, in my opinion. And then you have Baylor sitting at 8-0. They've played some good teams. Um, I'm not even going to say that. They really haven't played anybody that good. They've played in the Big 12. That is what the Big 12 is. I think if they win out, that's going to be pretty impressive, beating TCU, Texas, and Oklahoma on on that final stretch. That's going to be something to watch for. So my questions for the committee. What is going to happen going forward? Uh, in my opinion, this is how I see it going. I see the the, the four playoff spots um, going in, in this, I guess, going this way. The SEC Championship. Whoever wins the SEC Championship will be in the college football playoffs. Whether it's Georgia, LSU, or Auburn, I'm sorry, or Alabama, they will all be in the playoff if they win the SEC Championship. Um, I see the big t- the Big Ten. They're going to have their champion in the playoff. So that's two of the four right there. Um, whether it's Penn State or Ohio State, I don't think that really matters. One of those are in. So SEC and um, Big Ten championship, their championship winners, they're in. Clemson, they're in. Um, I don't. There's no way. That Clemson wins out, wins the ACC championship, and doesn't get in. That's just my opinion. Clemson, they're in. And so that's three. Here's what I see happening with this fourth spot. 
if Alabama is to win this weekend, um, and it's a pretty close game, in my opinion, I see LSU still getting into this Final Four some way, somehow, uh, because they're going on the road to Tuscaloosa, losing – um, in a you know crazy atmosphere, I see LSU still winning and get, or still getting this spot, and so that that is if uh, actually you know even if Alabama was to lose in the SEC championship, I still see Georgia getting in and then LSU getting in as well. So I see probably two teams getting in from the SEC if Alabama wins this weekend. If Alabama does not win this weekend, I I think they win this weekend. But if they do not. For some odd reason, they do not win this weekend at home against LSU. I think the committee is going to use it to their advantage, keep Alabama out of the playoff, and um, probably, you know, I guess I could understand it. Alabama hasn't played that many people so far. They're going to let that come back to haunt Alabama. Alabama would not be in the Final Four. And in that case, I think that a Pac-12 champ in Oregon or Utah would be in the Final Four. Um, so that's kind of where I'm sitting at in my opinion. So say everything that I'm thinking happens. Alabama wins this weekend, they're in. Um, Ohio State wins out, they're in. Clemson is in. LSU is in. That's my final four, uh, giving the fact that LSU plays a tight game this weekend against Alabama and Tuscaloosa. Um, and then my fifth and sixth uh, place teams, I guess, for say, would be um, would be the Pac-12 champion in Oregon and Utah, and then would also be Penn State or Ohio State. That would be my top six, and Georgia would be number seven uh, as a SEC championship loser. So that's all I have for you in this video. I just kind of wanted to go over that, go over my thoughts, my opinions my predictions. Uh, let me think if I'm wrong. Let me think if I'm right. Uh, or let me know. You know you know what I mean. So anyways, appreciate you sticking around for this video. Make sure to come back later on this week. I'm going to have my locks of the week, my plays, and it's going to be great. College football should be a really good weekend of college football. Can't wait to watch it. We'll see you soon. Peace. <clears throat>